Investigators know the Northwest Airlink Flight 5719 pilots could not have heard a low altitude warning. But they still don't understand why the plane was descending so rapidly. They wonder if weather conditions may have played a role. They check the temperatures and the type of precipitation encountered by the turboprop. These are prime conditions for icing. The plane would have descended right through it. Investigators need to know how bad the icing conditions were just before the crash. I'm just wondering if you have a couple of minutes. They talk to other pilots who flew into Hibbing that night. So you were aware of the potential for icing during your approach into Hibbing? The pilots tell Valisi they faced moderate icing conditions. But why would these two pilots start their descent so late? They also describe a common technique used to prevent ice accumulation. It now seems the rapid descent was not due to a loss of control caused by icing. Instead, it looks like it was part of a deliberate strategy to avoid icing. Finally, investigators get the evidence they've been waiting for, the cockpit voice recording. All right. Everybody ready? Play the tape. The investigators listen carefully to the recording. It's what is not said that alarms them the most. Why isn't the first officer making his altitude callouts? First Officer Erickson should be telling his captain how close they are to their minimum altitude and warning him when they descend past it. But he does neither. You're down? Flaps 20. He never told the captain how close they were getting to the ground. Captain Fallitz has his hands full landing the plane. He expects his first officer to keep an eye on their altitude. But on this flight, the first officer never once reports the altitude as the plane speeds closer and closer to the ground. The CDR leads investigators to wonder, was the loss of 18 lives in the Hibbing crash due to the failings of an inexperienced young pilot. 